it's John from Osmond Music on the Theory Lesson 29. Listen, carrying on the arpeggio idea, uh, we did the A, Ace of Spades. You want it, don't you? You want me to do it? License to thrill, Ace of Spades. We did the Ace of Spades, A, C sharp, E, the G, G, B, D. Great big dog, we did the F, F, A, C. If I was to do this in B, B D eyed fish, and it's got two sharp eyes. Thank you, my Aussie subscriber pal, for telling me that one. That's B. If that's C sharp, that's D. That's D sharp. And this is F sharp. How can I prove that's F sharp? C D E F sharp. Because I know my dot marks. B D sharp F sharp, and that's B octave because the octave is a string apart and a fret apart. B D sharp F sharp. I move it up one note. This is C. What's the C chord? C triad, keg, C E G. C, there's the E on the 12th fret. This is G, prove it's G. Look, dot mark C, D, E, F sharp next door to it is G. And this note is an octave. So it's C, E, G, C. If I do one more, D, def A, D, F sharp A. Let's D. I'm going past the E here now. Mini guitar F, F sharp, okay? A, dot mark, uh, the same as open, A. D, F sharp, A, and D. Can you dig it? D, F sharp, A. And finally, if I want to go up to E, eggs and bacon, okay, I could either do it E here, G sharp, B, E, or do it open style. Open E, bit of a stretch, G sharp, B, E. So there's your all your arpeggios or your triads. An arpeggio is just the notes played separately. Okay. Okay. The triads are the three notes that make up the chord. Now, do you remember the formula for a minor triad? I'm going to tell you. It's the first note, and the third note of the scale is flattened. Okay. So if I find the third note of uh, the arpeggio. One, three, in the A, A, C sharp, E. If I find the C sharp, and if I flatten something, I go down one fret. Okay? It's not makes it a flat, no, it doesn't make it a flat, um, key flat, or a, a flat note. It's just that, that you flatten that note, if that makes sense. Okay? It's not a C flat. But that C sharp becomes a C. That's A, C, E, A. Now I've got a minor arpeggio. You can hear the moody minor sound of that. I'll play an A minor against it. A, C, and E. Well, G chord was G, B, D, great big dog. If I find the first, the third, and if I flatten it, it means you go down one note. Okay, this happens to be a B flat, by the way. G, B flat, D, G. Okay? If I want an F, F A C fac. Okay, Cockney swear word. Face C or face. So if I find the A and I flatten that, the A becomes an A flat. It happens to become an A flat, that is. F A flat, A, C, F. So it's an F minor. Do one more. B. B major is B, D sharp, F sharp, two sharps. If I flatten the D sharp, D sharp flattened is B D F sharp. A C major is keg C E G. So if I find the E and flatten it, one note, that's an E flat C E flat G C. Okay. Okay. Uh, this might be taking a lot of, um, you know, your time. Your, your your brain can start to go to turn to porridge goes to mush a bit after doing this but uh, if you've followed the course and looked at your triad lists it should make sense a little bit D F sharp A D so the F sharp I flattened is an F D F A so what am I doing what am I doing I don't know <laughs> and if I do an E E G sharp B E G sharp B E if I find the E G sharp and flat it's G. So what I'm doing is doing the major tri major arpeggios 
is A major, and then A minor, A C E. It's A C sharp E major, and flattening this this note, A C E, G, G B D, and G B flat D. You can hear the difference minor quality. Okay, so that gives you the major and minor sound. Right, here's, here is a secret. This is what I really call a secret to understanding music. It's the biggest secret that I can give you. And uh, it sounds so simple, so dull. It doesn't sound like a secret, so, so prosaic, so dull. But it is. If you sing your scales, okay, and you sing your arpeggios to yourself, and sing them out loud but your ear will improve no end so when I'm playing a major scale I'll do an A major that finger is the same okay. I sing I sing in my head da, la, 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 la 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 I preempt the note la 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 Okay, and I do the same with the Peugeot. La 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 la. And the minor Peugeot. The minor Peugeot is a little bit hard to 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 sing at first, if you can imagine it. La 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 la. la. That's in the key of A. And if I do it in G, it's got to be the same, just a bit lower. There's the scale. La 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 la. La 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 Peugeot La 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 Minor Peugeot La 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 Okay, this will really improve your ear training what you want to hear on the guitar After a while, I'll show you when you're playing sort of tunes or just express yourself you hear you know what the sounds going to you, you know what the sounds going to sound like so if i went If you can just express yourself on the guitar, just play in your heart what you want to play, and your voice com comes out and is the instrument. What you sing here comes out through the guitar, and that's what we're after, and that's where we're going to go with this, guys. So, I'm going to give you all these secrets, okay, uh, that I've learnt and I've come across um, through hard, arduous work. And I've taught my students if you're willing to. Uh, do this course sequentially. This is where you, it's going to get to, and you'll be able to work out songs, improvise, uh, play exactly what you want to hear in your head, all these things. Okay, so please stick with it, and I'll see you soon. Peace.